Hello everyone. Finally got a chance to do a little hardware review on the bottle stem expansion. This happened to be a Korean version though. We haven't got the manual in English yet. So this will have two manual as usual and pretty much same design. Nothing special to report there I guess. Oh it's thicker. I think it's a more project now. So inside what do we got? Uh, essentially more of the auto part plates and stuff here. So uh, some extra cables. And then we finally got our remote controller. But unfortunately you can see only the near infrared. Uh, no Zigbee. No Bluetooth. So, well, I live with this one if I remember from the all robots. At least you can switch to four different channels on the uh, infrared remote. A little nuts holder. Um, so, that four AX12A now. So, that will go into. Uh, more, more better uh, box with more motion, add, uh, motion file, and you can use some more of the taller frame. I think that's for the they have uh, an arm application in the expansions kit. So the, at the bottom, well, we have more plate, the regular bioloid part. More the frame, more bracket, more shorter frame, smaller frame, and oh yeah, so we have the hands now, so that's for the uh, gripper design, remote robotic arm design to be exact, and some more frame in here, and then a little box. Let's see. So some more, a little bit of some more auto part, some rubber bands there. Uh, a longer gray rivet, and we have some more screws and nuts that I can see. Some more uh, plastic bushing. And cable well, holder, nut holder, so you can screw and it's on the inside part. Different black one that's for the auto part. So that's about it. So I actually use one set of these. So that I can build a droid. So this is a droid I built. So it's using CM500, 530. Uh, but instead of having the AA battery like they would show in the, in the manual book, I switched to a uh, LiPo battery. Uh, in the standard uh, CM530 droid, they have uh, the near infrared in front and each near infrared on the side so we built that uh, but I wanted to add some extra near infrared here uh, to look down uh, because I wanted to be able to try to see if I can have a droid follow uh, the edge of a black line or not so that's to come that still had to be figured out uh, we have to modify the standard uh, drawer from CM530 a little bit by adding some more spacer here in this design because uh, when I put the uh, infrared here if we didn't have the spacer when it rotates the leg it will hit this infrared sensor so we just raise it up a little bit to you know to, to have some clearance so we should be able to okay so I look forward to be able to solve that problem to see if we can make it 
essentially follow a, a, a line and a curve line or not. So we shall see. Uh, one thing I found out was interesting. This is the old style CM5 droid, you know, with AXS1. And but you can see that the legs are designed the same way. Nothing different there, same thing. The only thing I found out was surprising is uh, the CM5 and the CM510 droid. The convention was odd numbers on the right leg, even number on the left leg. And that would be in CM5 and CM5, uh, 5 and CM510 all the same. When we switch to CM530, the even number are on the right leg now, and the odd number on the left leg. So that means all the motion file, uh, CM5 and CM510, you could reuse them and, and use them interchangeably. But for CM530, it's completely different. So you had to change uh, all your ID. So look like they switched for whatever reason. That is all.